Hi guys and welcome to EV Evolution. In this video I will show you our Fiat 500 EV conversion kit. So this is going for this type of the vehicle. But we have similar, only differences in the mounting points and some uh, adapter plates for 126p or the Fiat 600. Now let's check the parts that you get with the Fiat 500 EV conversion kit. So let's start from the left side. This is the aluminium cover plate. This is used for the engine bay to cover a hole around the motor and uh, for mounting all other parts like uh, power distribution boxes, DC-DC converter and some other parts. This hole is for the transmission. So the transmission is a little bit out. So this is the part that goes a little bit out. Okay, you can see. This is for the cables, so these kind of cables that go to the motor and in inverter are going through these holes. So there are five holes for three phases and for positive and negative DC currents. So for main positive and main negative. And this is the hole for the motor mount. So motor mount comes here. This is the example of the motor mount. So it's coming a little bit through this hole, but this is our uh, mount and it's mostly not that much visible because the original motor mount is more out than ours because we are using our mount to connect with the original motor mount and this one is designed to fit our electric motor that is over there. Okay, so we have three phase cables for connection between the inverter and the electric motor. Uh, these are some other cables we will mention later. This is the uh, inverter mount. So inverter, these are three holes that go on the adapter plate. And then these are the four holes that are used to mount the inverter on it. So this is steel, this is also steel. This is the uh, steel connection between the electric motor and the uh, gearbox. So this is the main steel part that is used to transfer the power from the electric motor to your transmission and wheels. Uh, we have also version with uh, for the clutch assembly, but this is direct drive because we don't need to uh, use gears in so small car cars because this is a 30 kilowatt peak power motor so it's very powerful and has nice start in the fourth gear even uphill because of this power so no need for gears and then we use direct drive clutch option is also available but then the car is a little bit slower because the flywheel is heavier and brings some kind of delay like in petrol engines this is the dc dc heater so this is one kilowatt dc heater and it's used for winter heating of your cabin and windshield this is the aluminium pipe that connects to this as you can see it connects to this uh, heater and then you can point the direction of the heating for feeds or something and one one part of the pipe goes goes also for the connection to the existing windshield heating these are some cables bolts so we are giving you all of the parts needed even connection parts connectors uh, ring connectors for the cables a lot of bolts that are used for mounting all of these parts even motors uh, and everything. Uh, this is our power distribution box. So this is the pre-charge system. It has, this is the pre-charge part. So it's pre-charging the system before activating it. It has a very small delay of 0 0.6, 0 0.7 seconds. This is also a 12 volt power distribution box, also pre-charge system that is designed to work with this box this is 12 volt system that controls high voltage system in this box these are automatic fuses for things like uh, 
charger, DC-DC converter and heater. So these are automatic fuses and this is the main fuse for all. This is our, as you probably know, as you know, adapter plate. We make them perfectly match the electric motor. So it comes in the shape of the transmission for the car that we build it. And it has uh, fitting holes for all needed things. And it's perfectly centered. So you don't need to worry about anything. You just put it on your transmission and it will be perfectly centered. It has centering holes already designed and it's centering the electric motor. I can show you this, how it looks. So this is it's in, few, in two parts. And if I put it on the electric motor, now you will see when it clicks and it doesn't move anymore. So it perfectly fits and centers both sides, electric motor and transmission part. So it's in two, two parts. And if I put it here, it will also click. And now again, not moving because of this. Uh, this is the display mount. So here we put our display. So this is our display for the battery uh, state of charge. This is the hole for the secure switch. So this is the secure switch, this is the red one. And this is, this is the hole for the DC heater. So as we said, DC heater. We have somewhere here a switch for this. And it comes in black leather, so it already should fit your car. For example, if you have a newer car, newer Fiat 500, this will come with black leather to match your car. Next, we have the accelerator pedal mount. So this is aluminum mount that is used to hold this accelerator pedal and you can easily install it in your vehicle. So all is pre-made to be simple as possible. And all our parts are very light. So as you can see, this is only three kilos maybe. Aluminum car plate motor is 27 kilos and things like that. Battery is 80 kilos. So very light parts we have for the Fiat 500 because it's small and light car. Oh, this is the, these are the high voltage cables. So these are, as you can see, shielded cables that we provide also in this kit. So a lot of cables because you have a positive and a negative side of the wires. These are all other wirings for the electric motor, BMS wiring and things like that. Next we have uh, charging socket. So this is a type 2 European charging socket. Also comes pre-made to fit our charger. So this is a 3 kilowatt charger and it comes with connection to the charger already made and also has inside electronics and LEDs built in. So it works with European AC charging uh, public chargers. So you can charge on any public charger, charging location and it comes also with a push button that you install. We can show you in one video uh, where it installs. And uh, with the push of the button, it activates charging or deactivates the charging. So very simple and very needed, let's say it, because you never know when you need to charge at the public location. And this part is only needed for public location charging. If you are charging at home, then you can use a normal cable without any uh, activation relays because uh, public charging uh, public chargers have an activation relays, and this communication inside of the socket is used for this communication. And uh, when charging at home, you don't need any communication, just direct connection, and it can connect to the charger and it will work automatically. Now, since we're already talking about the charging, we have also electronics that is used with, so CAN controller, that is used to work with TC chargers. So this is 3 kilowatt, 3.3 kilowatt TC charger, for which we also include uh, electronics that is designed to match your battery. 
so if your battery is let's say 96 volts then it needs to have software to tell the charger what voltage should it charge and how many amps should it use for charging so our electronics is designed to fit the TC charger and we have in some other videos how this looks uh, this our electronics connects directly to these two plugs so this is the 12 volt output of the charger and this is the CAN bus and so we are powering our electronics with this connection and over the CAN bus we are sending the charger information about how many amps and volts to send to the battery for charging uh, this is the DC DC converter it's used like an alternator in your car so we use this for powering all of the 12 volt systems in the car like lights radio and things like that and also we are charging the 12 volt battery at the same time or let's say keeping it at the full state of charge at the same time as you drive next is an inverter so this is the inverter that we use for powering this motor it has our custom software as usual for for the each car so we have all custom for each car like custom software for the battery because we have different battery for each car and we have also a custom software design for the fiat 500 region braking and everything is uh, configured to fit the best driving uh, of the fiat 500 in the fourth gear so it's designed for for gear uh, without clutch driving in fiat 500 so the region braking must be designed by the speed and the weight of the car and also by the battery you use in the vehicle so this is the 15 or 30 kilowatt peak power permanent magnet motor so it has a lot of power to start this small fiat 500 so this is a 500 kilo car and this motor is 27 kilos so this is a very light motor as you can see I can almost have the fingers wider than this motor is um, and um, very very powerful going uphill in the four gear without any problems even you can uh, overtake some cars uphill with, with it so this motor is uh, very good for this type of the vehicle air cooled and this is our battery uh, LFP 96 volt system so lithium iron phosphate battery is the most secure battery that you have in the market it also has double the let's say life cycle of the battery and also provides more stable voltage because it's uh, mostly the flat uh, voltage battery so it doesn't have drop or performance drop when driving so like in the, when using lithium iron batteries it already has mounting positions pre-made for the fiat 500 to fit it and uh, lfp batteries are the most safest uh, batteries in the world currently existing and uh, 96 volt system is very powerful as you know to power your small fiat 500 <laughs> Thank you.